The world is changing in radical ways. Spiritual forces are awakening all across the globe that used to lie dormant. In order to meet the challenges of today and move beyond them, it is necessary to embrace a new range of spiritual insight, practice, and skill. Introducing the 12 Chakra System as taught by Thoth. Chakras are spinning fields of energy in your body. Each center manages different themes in your life. You can focus on a chakra to heal and empower yourself in a wide range of ways. Many spiritual traditions work with energy centers, including the Hebrews, the Mayans, the Chinese, Egyptians, and the Indian yogis. This 12 chakra system came from Egypt and was inherited from Atlantean culture. It is channeled from Thoth and was introduced in the book The Ancient Secret of the Flower of Life, Volume 2. With seven chakras, we can only effectively use one chakra at a time, like playing one musical note at a time on a child's flute. With 12 chakras, we have access to a broad range of energy, allowing us to use combinations of chakras to create magical keys, similar to the keys used to create scales and chords in music. If you would like to learn more about the 12 chakras, chakra keys, and how to work with them, you can purchase the book, The Chakra Keys, at www.wildflowerfire.com. Chakra keys are patterns that unlock and expand your consciousness. There are many ways to work with them to heal wounds and enlighten yourself. It's like getting rid of your black and white TV for a color TV, or like going from two dimensions to three. Chakras work on their own and work better when we pay attention to them. Pay attention to the chakras along the front surface of your body. These are the access points where you can most easily learn to feel and influence the energy from a chakra. Focus on what you feel. Breathe deeply and consciously and become aware of energy emerging from your chakras. Follow the feeling of energy and sense the changes to learn what your spirit has to teach you. The chakras are located within the body, but they can be felt at access points equally distant along the front surface of the body. This is the same distance as the distance between the pupils and between the nose and the chin. This access point is the easiest place to feel chakra energy, where light from each center emerges from within the body to be felt. Locations. The crown is located at the top of the skull. The diamond eye at the hairline, the top of the forehead. The third eye between the eyebrows, just above the bridge of the nose. The nose tip is located at the tip of your nose. The chin in the center of your chin. The throat right within the Adam's apple of the throat. The lung chakra is located two fingers below the collarbone. The heart, two fingers above the base of the sternum. The solar plexus between the shortest ribs. The navel at the belly button. The sacral is located at the top of the pubic bone. The root is located at the perineum.
To intentionally choose which chakra to work with, explore the themes of each chakra. Also pay attention to feelings within you that arise on their own. Associate them with the nearest chakra in your body and learn what they are teaching you about you. This video will share a concise overview of each chakra, along with introductions to the themes, their superpowers, and a question that helps you focus your energy on each center. The root, survival, community, soul family. Where are you home? Superpowers. Fulfilling your basic needs, being realistic and grounded, healing past lives. Overview. The root is where your needs are met and your company is kept. The root exists from birth and yet can be transformed dramatically. Here, you live your everyday life, making decisions of basic needs and things that have to be done. We are born with sacred contracts, which we agree to before birth. These contracts are like a script with scenes that are planned and a plot with some unchangeable events and enough room to shape the rest of your everyday life through choices you make. Sacral Relation sharing, intimacy. How do you share? Superpowers, attracting wants and needs. Explore healthy desire, share joy and wonder. Overview. The sacral chakra is about your relationships from lovers to friends to business associates. This is where you make peace, clash, react, respond, assert, relate, and share. The chakra is brutally honest. Your choices and attitudes send a clear, strong signal like a giant magnet. You attract and repel similar likes and dislikes, whether you wish to share them or not. Naval, habits, power, identity. Who are you? Superpowers, empower yourself. Convert negative energy to positive energy. Center in your true nature. Overview. The navel chakra is the center of energetic power. You use power to create and manage the patterns of your life. The physical navel is the center of gravity for the body. The navel chakra manages the impacts of your choices and how they continue to affect you. Good decisions make your navel chakra stronger. This is what makes you as a truly unique person. Solar plexus, will, intention, prayer. How do you pray? Superpowers, balancing of risk and reward, making prayers and intentions, give thanks and ask for help. Overview, the solar plexus takes care of your questions and answers to the divine. Here, you shape and channel your goals. This is where you experiment, explore, and choose possibilities. Ideas that do not thrive despite your attention are repurposed for those that become part of your life. So accept what you cannot change and act on what you can change. Heart, nurture, passion, love. 
What is love to you? Superpowers. Embrace unconditional love. Nurture yourself and others. Be compassionate. Overview. The heart is the center of our love. It brings life to spiritual energy and emotional passion. The physical heart contains neurons that work like those in the brain. When your spiritual heart guides the heart neurons, the brain follows. The heart holds the base rhythms of your life. When some of your choices are vibrationally out of tune with the heart, you get sick. As you tune and harmonize, you thrive. Lungs, boundaries, decisions, creativity. What do you love? Superpowers, planning for abundance, tuning with synchronicity, making clear decisions. Overview. The lungs bring your love out into the world. They act on their own and improve with your support. Creativity is a spiritual garden where we prepare choices and reject what is not good for us. When our goals and desires work together with what we have in a good place, creative gardens thrive. Here, we learn to balance hope with possibility and bring dreams into reality. Throat, communication, calling, devotion. What kind of artist are you? Superpowers, share artistic inspirations, assert choices and commitments, communicate divine will. Overview. The throat chakra communicates your spirit to the world, speaking your truths this center calls out for people who will appreciate, understand, and collaborate with you. The throat makes your attractions a stronger magnet and teaches you to express yourself honestly. Here, you begin to be at peace and emerge with others as you learn to fuel creativity with inspiration. Chin, limits, trust, trance. Where is your edge? Superpowers, transcend limitations, transform with changes. Trust beyond understanding. Overview. The chin chakra is the center of transformation. It allows you to know what your limitations are and how you interact with them. The chin teaches you why you resist the unknown and where to embrace it. Here, you learn to walk quietly, boldly, and even blindly into new areas in your life. The chin helps you to humble yourself to what you do not understand and to change what was normal into a new way. Nose dip, sensation, nutrition, guidance. What guides you? Superpowers, connect with your spirit guides. Enhance your sacred sexuality. Being in tune with nature. Overview. The nose tip chakra gives divine guidance through the physical senses. Balancing desires and boundaries, receiving and expressing, creates health. Once in tune, your desires will come together with the gifts of nature. The nose tip teaches your body to want what you need. As you learn to recognize and make choices based in this wisdom, you make peace with nature.
third eye. Awareness, imagination, paranormal. How do you use imagination? Superpowers. Imagine and think clearly. Sense the paranormal. Communicate telepathically. Overview. The third eye guides the tension between your awareness and your ability to use your imagination. This chakra sits between imagination and the vibrations of the world. Here, you learn to see beyond what you have known to be real and to filter out what you cannot understand. The third eye is your sixth sense, illuminating miracles and spiritual reality. Diamond Eye Dreams, Ideas, Mysticism How do you dream? Superpowers Explore possibilities in dreams Awaken mystical awareness Going on vision quests Overview The Diamond Eye is a gateway to dream time. It is where you invest your prayers and explore possible realities. This center helps hold and heal repressed wounds. It enables you to experience possibilities before you act. Here, you receive visions from beyond yourself and become a visionary. As you learn with this chakra, you can embrace challenges and opportunities that once seemed impossible. Crown. Leadership, sovereignty, divinity. What do you believe? Superpowers. Embrace spiritual direction. Commune with angels. Become the God essence within. Overview. The crown chakra is your authority or lack of it to become your divine nature. The crown is shaped by your faith or lack of it. It transforms when you embrace life beyond this lifetime. This chakra focuses on love that is present with you even when you reject it. Your crown is the conductor of your life. As you learn to become present with its responsibilities, you embody your soul in this lifetime. If you would like to learn more about the 12 chakras, chakra keys, and how to work with them, you can purchase the book, The Chakra Keys, at www.wildflowerfire.com.